are these tiny, tiny crustaceans. They look like shrimp. They're the size of a paperclip. And they're the most abundant species in the world. In the Antarctic, there's evidence to say that there's around 400 million tons of krill and they replenish very quickly. So the krill fishery was born thinking that there would be plenty of krill for everybody. The annual catch limit in the area is 1% of the biomass, which leaves 99% for species that feed on krill. But if you look closer and deeper into the numbers, you'll see that a lot of conservationists are concerned with the amount of concentrated krill fishing that's happening. A krill vessel directly competes with wildlife and in so doing directly impacts that wildlife. The fishery is fishing over and over in certain areas close to the coast and where on one side the colonies, for example, penguins, and on the other side are areas that are very popular for foraging of whales. In the end, it's not so important how much krill you struck but when and where we are seeing studies that are showing up saying that it's having a negative effect on penguin populations but it, it has yet to be determined what the level of impact is but there's the whole other beast which is climate change and we just don't know the extent of how krill is going to be impacted by climate change and that's why it's so important to keep our eyes on the antarctic krill fishery as it continues to expand